time to jump into that engine compartment and in this case it's going to be a piece of cake it's just slightly dusty so there are many ways to attack the engine compartment you can use a rinseless wash uh, you can uh, on the other end of the scale if it's really bad you can go after it with degreasers and maybe a pressure washer just protect those intricate parts the connections the ecu any control units uh, any fuse boxes and just use common sense in this situation here I'm going to use an SiO2 waterless wash that will clean and protect at the same time. The underneath of the hood here is carbon fiber. That's going to get uh, coated with the exact same coating we're using on the paint. Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail, and welcome back to this series. This is the third installment of the series of this Gorgeous collectible 427 convertible C6 Corvette. We are perfecting and preserving all the surfaces inside and out from bumper to bumper on this vehicle. And we started in the first video. If you have been following along by inserting and installing the magnetic ride control uh, custom unit from Jim Murrow. Uh, if you're just joining us now, I would recommend going back to the first video and uh, watch from there on. So you know exactly what's going on. A lot of details to pick up here. We are almost finished with the cleaning process. Bumper to bumper, we are in the engine compartment right now. And we're soon to be um, getting started with the correction process. Okay, the engine compartment is also now nice and tidy, another box checked. Let's get on to the wheels, the wheel wells, and the calipers. This is a wheels off, so the wheels are going to get cleaned um, perfectly from lip to lip, inside and out, the calipers, and we're going to detail the wheel arches as well. We're inside today, rather cold outside, so I just use a rinseless wash to rinse away the little bit of dirt and soapy residue that's left over. Runs down onto the mat to be uh, sucked up later and dealt with. And then we just dry the inner fender well and protect. There are many, many ways to dress and protect the inner fender well and any component that's in that area. But in this particular package, it's going to be dressed with the Kochkemi Moto Plast and all of the metal parts protected by Built Hammer Atom Mac, which is an anti-corrosive. By the way, those unsightly rotors, they're going to get hit with Hyde's Serum. I will try to remember to get a link down below. Something to definitely pick up. Let's get those wheels on the wheel stand so we can completely clean them inside and out from lip to lip.
squeaky clean once again. Grab your favorite wheel coating, but before you get it on there, grab a panel prep or your IP solution and make sure there's no cleaning residue or any uh, fingerprints or any old waxes or sealants on those wheels and let's get it protected. Protected and looking good, I really enjoy the design of these wheels for the Corvette. So we're going to do this all the way around the car. All four wheels, wheel wells, arches, and calipers will be protected, coated, and dressed. With that complete, we can get all four wheels back down on the ground and start the correction process. And we're going to start with spot correcting, and unfortunately, we have a lot of areas to spot correct. And what does that mean? Well, we just want to correct the areas with the deeper scratches, either almost through the clear coat or deep enough where we can hide them or remove them completely with an aggressive compound. We don't want to use that on the whole car. Um, a two, three step process or correction is becoming a part of the past, especially with the newer waterborne soft thin clear coats. A one step is all you're going to need. But with this um, rather stubborn clear coat, we need something special, something to get a little bit deeper in some areas, and we'll use the 3D AAT, Adaptive Abrasive Technology. We'll team that up with my little three inch polisher. Has a nice throw to it, so um, with the AAT and the throw of this polisher, we'll be able to get those imperfections out almost completely. We're not using this step on the hood or the trunk area or the front or rear bumper, just on the sides. It might have been run through a car wash. Who knows? Uh, these are the areas that are far most out, um, sticking out from the side of the car where a wrap really would have put a lot of pressure from a car wash onto this car. So that could be. Whatever it is, we're correcting it, but we're not going to use this harsh process on the whole vehicle. We want to preserve clear coat. We are clear coat friendly here. Um, we like to leave as much of it behind on the vehicle as possible, yet having it look impeccable. That did the trick and the AAT Although being harsh and being able to go after some deeper imperfections really does finish down well, and I, I love it here. So we're going to continue that process only all the way around the car, but only where needed. So after going all the way around the vehicle and picking out those areas where some of the scratches were running rather deep, uh, we've turned them all around and we really have a jump start on this correction process now. 
and we are about ready to go to the next step. Okay, so the spot correction is complete, and to be quite frank, the spot correction was a lot more than I intended or wanted to do, but there were some moderate scratches running from the uh, body line midway down through the door up to the bottom of the window, so they had to be taken care of the length of the car on both sides. And now that that's finished, we can go on to our one-step process, and this is a process that I really think it's important to get across to you guys to use on anything uh, any type of vehicle 2018 and newer just because of the softer water base clear and there's just not a lot of it on today's vehicles. Um, our go-to right now, the one and done from Turtle Wax, um, our long time uh, one step th uh, 3D1 flawless cut from Extreme Solutions is great and also perfect finish from Sonax and just grab one of these. It doesn't matter which one if you already have one that you rely on and it works for you, use it. Keep using it. But just surround yourself with a bunch of um, top quality pads, ranging from uh, finish all the way up to quite aggressive. So let's talk about them. On your harder clear coats, real stubborn hard clear coats, there are wool pads that would work. Um, the Eurofiber 5050 pad would work to cut and finish. And then leaning towards uh, the middle range or uh, medium uh, hardness on your clear coat, the orange pads and some of the firm polishing pads. And then let's go to the other side of the scale where we have softer waterborne clear coats. Uh, some of the light polishing and application pads will uh, give you an excellent result cut and finish. Now, I recommend to do a couple test spots to find out which one of these will dial you in to cut remove the imperfections, and then finish down where you can get it all done in one step so you can jump right then to the protection portion uh, of your detail. Uh, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Uh, put them down in the comments section. If you are using any of these or you don't see yours up here uh, on the table, mention it down in the comments section. That helps everybody out. That's what this community uh, the Apex Detail community is all about helping each other out. So let's continue to do so. That's going to be it for today's video. I'll catch you in the next installment where we start the one-step process. I'll show you everything that goes into it and the results we get from it. Brian from Apex Detail, catch you in the next video.